Hmm, what could I do for the intro? Leave a like! What's going on guys, it's Dane here and welcome back to another video guys. I'm actually re-recording this video right now, I just recorded over 30 minutes of this video. Hopefully this video is a bit shorter than that, but I have to re-record it due to some issues. I really hope the issues don't happen again. But anyways, regardless guys, how is your Monday guys? Because uh, I am going to definitely be posting this January 24th. Hopefully this is the day I'm recording it. If I miss that, if, I, if this is posted any other day other than January 24th, that's bad. But anyways guys, this is going to be my 700 subscriber special video. Now, some stuff I got to talk to you guys about this video is that this is 9 days late. Alright, since I made, well it's like 8 days late. Also, I was supposed to do it with a friend, she couldn't make it. Hopefully we can do something uh, to together in the future, but life goes on. It's just you and me, and I think that's what you guys are used to, so it shouldn't be a problem. Also, guys, let me know how you guys like uh, wh how this recording setup is. When I'm just doing like a cut commentary or something like a Q&A or something with you guys, do you guys like having gameplay down there or down there? Oh, there. I'm s I don't know. God. Or do you guys prefer just my webcam? I think I like the uh, or the gameplay a bit. It's only round 24, and I know that, but come on, man. Come on, man. I'm not a high round person. But anyways, guys, let's get straight into this Q&A. Guys, if you do want to see a part two to this video, don't forget to leave a like. If we can hit 20 likes in under 24 hours, it's a big goal. Obviously, I don't really want to record this again. Well, actually, I do, but you know what I'm saying. Um, I'm not going to answer every question, so yeah, if we hit 20 likes under 24 hours, I will record this yet again. The first question comes in from Lonak24, and this question is, are you famous in school? Now, this is sort of an interesting one because I'm not exactly what you call famous or popular in any way at school, but some of the old friends I used to talk to, like grade primary to six, and then once we moved schools, we were in the same school, but like, you know, we were in the same school, we just had different friends, we branched out to other friends, we didn't talk as much. They do talk to me this year. And they're like, oh, it's Dane Games, oh, and people will actually tell me at school, like, oh, you had a good stream, you had a good stream. I have one friend, um, Simon, he actually lets me know the issues with my streams and what he doesn't like, what he does like. I have a friend named Noah, shout out to Noah, he used to actually help me back, uh, back, back when I did Minecraft, I had like 20 subs or something. He used to text me, he'd be like, Dane, this is the problem with your video, this is the issue I have, this is what happened to me, etc. That's what he would tell me. Which is really nice of him, of course. He still does that today, but he, he's very busy doing stuff just like me. But I still do videos, obviously. But yeah, but uh, to really, truly, and fully answer your question, I'm not really famous in school, to be honest. But, hey, it's whatever. So the next question comes in from your boy, Mr. Boss Teo. And he says, are you going to play Call of Duty Infinite Warfare when the new DLC drops? And the answer to that is, is actually no, I'm not. Because I actually don't really, I don't, I'm not hyped about Infinite Warfare at all. Like, a lot of you guys actually seem to be hyped for Rave in the Woods, and I just don't care. I probably even said that map wrong, but I really don't care about Infinite Warfare. The next question comes in from Xview. He says, what is your favorite Call of Duty Zombies YouTuber? And for the last five and a half years, I've watched a guy called The Smith Plays. Uh, you guys should check him out. He's got about 1.3 million subscribers. He is truly my inspiration. I absolutely love him. He, he actually goes to the university he goes to is about two and a half hours away from where I live, which is really cool. And I, I love his channel. He, he really did uh, inspire me to do YouTube and that kind of stuff. And I really, he's my favorite Call of Duty Zombies YouTuber for, for sure. But uh, about seven months ago, it was Mr. T Luxify because he was really funny and something fresh from, from the Smith Plays. Not saying the Smith Plays was bad then. I'm just saying I liked Mr. T a bit more back then. But now Mr. T has switched over. Mr. T Luxify, not Mr. T, like, no. Mr. T Luxify switched back over, or switched over rather, to Overwatch, which sucks because I don't like that game, but it's whatever next question comes from Ender Young. This is actually a really good question. I like this. He says, what is your top five favorite zombie maps? Top five zombie maps would probably come in like, mm, maybe number five, Town. Number four, Buried. Just because I love Buried. and I, I Town and Buried were my two favorite maps of Black Ops 2 because I didn't have Mob of the Dead or Origins. Um, number three, maybe The Giant. Number two, Shadows. And then number one, Der Eisendrak. That'd probably be my top five maps, yeah. Those are pretty fun. Uh, the next question comes in from Beckend. He says, are you going to be doing a 12-hour live stream? But in terms of a 12-hour live stream, I think that'd be fun to do. Like, maybe start off with, like, a an hour or two of the giant starting room. Maybe a few hours of some high-round attempts on the giant. Some high-round attempts on shadows. High-round attempts on Der Eisen. No jug on this. No quick revive on that. No jug. No quick. No no freaking I don't know. No perks. Challenges would be really fun to do for 12 hours. But at the same time, 
I just not sure if I I'm just not sure if I could do 12 hours uh, for a while. Maybe during the summer, for sure. I'd love to do some sort of some sort of like 24 hour stream or something. But definitely not anytime soon. What if your top five favorite maps in Black Ops 3 Zombies? And this is coming in from Diamond Blade. Uh, number five, Gord Crovey, because I hate Zetsubo, not even on the list. And Gord Crovey, I hate, I hate the most, almost the most, a little bit less than Zetsubo. Uh, obviously, I like the PPSH in it, but it's whatever. They kind of ruin the PPSH just, a, just a little bit. I guess Revelations, yeah. I don't really love Revelations that much. And then the Giant Shadows Derizen, for sure. I might make a separate video on that, but anyways. Next a question comes in from your boy Spexy Wacky. He says, "Would you rather have hair for teeth or teeth for hair?" Now I think hair for teeth would be bad because I got I need my food and I'd have to like you know chew obviously. But having teeth for hair would be so bad. But like if I just wear a hat the whole time, it'd be pretty good. So probably I'd rather have teeth uh, for hair because I need to chew food obviously. But the next question comes in from one of my mods, one of my personal friends, Pancake Waffle, and he says, "What do you think your channel is going to be like in the near future?" And then he says, what do you think your channel will be like in one year? So in a year, I think that my channel, hmm, I think my channel year hopefully would be at like maybe 2,000 plus subscribers. That'd be really awesome if I could be at that in, in a year. Honestly, that'd be really fun, I think, to be at almost, to be at, to have 2,000 people. Like right now, if you think about it, 700 people are subscribed to me. That's about the size of like, that can fill up our, my entire gym and, at my school and, and then some. Like that's crazy to think. Um, thank you guys so much, but 2000 would be absolutely crazy as well. Next question comes in from Fox Gaming. He says, did you order most of your setup online? Um, well, actually, sort of, but not really. Like, most of my setup, uh, I only just got, like, just under a month ago. Last Christmas, I got my new computer, my new monitor, and that's basically my setup right now. I do have two monitors, but I only use one. Only one of them's hooked up to my computer. The other one's hooked up to my PlayStation. So it's really, it's a monitor and a TV, so it's not really two monitors if you think about it going to be getting parts for my computer and if I guess sort of almost add on to the question I am going to be like building the PC uh, on top of this so I have a new graphics card in mind I have some new parts just to add on to it to make the performance faster so I can do custom zombies and all that jazz but for the most part yes it, it is online the next question comes in from sprinkles CCA did you or do you sorry enjoy streaming or making videos more now I think this is a very I think this is a good question because for me personally I like to live stream a lot more than videos and here's why basically it's because I have a better chance of both gaining subscribers and gaining new subscribers well, obviously a sub is a new sub oh my god uh, new subscribers uh, in a live stream because YouTube promotes live streams more YouTube gaming specifically promotes uh, live streams more than videos but I mean at the same time I think videos are fun because videos don't have much room for air I edit this and streams have a lot of room for error, as in like my mic crackling, my PC crashing, my game crashing, my internet going out. <laughs> There's a lot of problems that happens to me on the daily with streams, and I can't wait to get them fixed in the near future. But for right now, I definitely think live streams are still my favorite regardless of all the issues, because you just got to get through those issues. You can't let issues pull you down in life. When your issues pull you down, you got to kick them in the balls and run away from your issues. That's what you gotta do. Next question comes in from OKKE Stam, and he says, "What was the first? When was the first time? And what was the first map in Zombies you've ever played?" So the first map in Zombies I played, I believe, was Keynote or Toten, and it was in like 2011, I think, 2011. And uh, so that was like six years ago. So I would have been like maybe eight or nine was when I first started playing. And then my second map, I know, is knocked because I remember we bought World at War because it was like five dollars or something and I got Nocturne and Toten on it and I just played Nocturne and Toten and I've still to this day never made it to round 20 on Noct plus I've, I'd love to go for like a high round on Noct on my PC because I have World of War for my PC now but yeah that was that was a while ago man that was an absolutely long time ago and that was basically when I kind of fell in love with zombies the next question comes in from Moonflix he says what's your name what's your age guys you ready I'm, I might make it on scarce for this drama you ready my name is Dane And I'm also 14 years of age. So it smells like it's burning in this house. Hmm. Next question comes in from Galaxy Ants. He says, what is your favorite weapon out of all the Call of Duties? And in terms of a weapon that fires bullets, I probably have to say, hmm, probably the DSR from Black Ops 2. I don't want to say the PPSH because that's too unoriginal. 
let's be honest here, everybody says the PPSH. But I think the DSR is an amazing, an amazing weapon. Just for the plain and simple fact that back in the day, I just go onto town, go by the quick, go by quicker vibe, go to the right of it. There was like a camping spot people went to, and then you jump out of the house, and that's the camping spot. Um, I would upgrade the DSR, get the iron sights on it, and I would just camp there uh, until my first, uh, my first 30 on there, and then I would just end it, and then uh, play again the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. I loved town absolutely like a lot, like a lot, a lot. The next question is still coming in from your boy Galaxy Ants. He says, what was the first COD you ever played? Uh, but it was MW2. I played MW2 because my, my grandfather had it, and I didn't love it too, too much. I played MW3, and I, I never liked mu multiplayer back then. I always played uh, Special Ops on MW3, and I, I always played Special Ops, um, and I went to the village, or Survival on Special Ops, and went... To the village map and to this day that is still like the funnest thing i've ever done in my life on cod i don't care zombies is fun multiplayer is fun but special ops survival mode on the village yes like the juggernaut used to scare me on that if you guys know that modern warfare 3 seriously probably one of my favorite cods ever i know mw2 is like everybody's favorite cod but i i just i absolutely love mw3 the next question comes in from dj oni nv and he says what was the first feeling what was your first feeling in your first video on you on your YouTube channel that you had? My first feeling, uh, in terms of my first feeling of when I had a good when I had a video go out and it was a good video, it was an amazing feeling to see people comment, see people actually like my video, see people leaving a like and commenting and, and, and wanting to talk to me, wanting to play Minecraft with me because back then it was Minecraft. It was an amazing feeling. I really never thought that my channel would be uh, anything at all. In fact, when I started my channel, I actually just used to post random vlogs I would do at school. I was back in grade 7, like three years ago. I'd just take videos of my friends and just post it to my channel. And all those videos are privatized now. And actually, they're deleted. I didn't, I didn't even privatize them. I just straight up deleted them. Uh, but yeah, that's what I used to do. I never thought of anything. I even recorded a Minecraft Hunger Games episode one time without a mic or with the worst mic literally ever. Like a Potato sounds better. There was a to if there's a toaster that can't plug in, it can't heat anything. In fact, when you plug it in and put something in it, it freezes it. There's a mic coming out of that toaster. It probably sounded better than the mic I used it back. I used back then. I mean, even now this mic is not even that great. But I'm working on it. I'm working on a better mic. The next and possibly one of the last questions uh, of the day is coming in from It's Razor says, Who inspired you to do YouTube? Great, 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 great question. Who inspired me to do YouTube was actually the Smith Plays. I mentioned him earlier, but anyway, uh, I'll go brief on this. He's got about 1.3 million subscribers. He, he lives very close to where I live, closer than you'd think. And I mean, he's an amazing guy. I found him out about five and a half years ago. I remember telling my friends... I'd be like, guys, guys, I found this awesome YouTuber, his name's uh, The Smith Plays, he's actually from uh, Atlantic Canada or Nova Scotia, where we live, it's, it's crazy, it's crazy. And uh, and then they watched him, they liked him, not nearly as much as me, like, I watched every video. My first video I watched by him was the uh, Mob of the Dead 2 Box Challenge uh, that I found by him, or, well, on The Smith Plays channel. I used to watch, uh, I remember watching uh, The Smith, or Smith Vlogs, and I watched some of his skits on there and stuff, but... Basically, he, that, he inspired me because he makes cut commentaries and he just explains, he cuts all the crap and just talks real in some of his videos. And also, obviously, he's very char he's very charismatic to me, a very big inspiration to me. He's he's not he's not too, too old. He's like 22, I'm pretty sure, or 21. And, yeah. All right, guys, the final question of the day comes in from Sharon. And she says, Dane, please do a vlogging channel. So, I probably wouldn't do a vlogging channel rather than just, like, uploading vlogs to my main channel, but... When I actually, right now, this is my camera, guys. You see this, an iPhone 4, there's my camera right now. Yeah, I don't have a camera, really. Um, if I ever really got a camera, because this is just like a computer webcam, which is my fault for actually doing that. I wish I didn't do that, but still. I'd love uh, to get some sort of a vlogging camera and start vlogging. I, mean, I don't have the most interesting life, but I could try to make it interesting. I don't know. I don't know, man. I really think a vlogging, me vlogging would be fun just to experiment with, sort of. But anyways, guys, that's going to be all for today. If we can hit 20 likes, if you guys can smash 20 likes, which is a lot of likes, but in under 24 hours, you guys get 20 likes, then I will just, I will have to make a part two. I hope you guys have enjoyed this so far. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a single video or stream. I like to live stream every day if I can, but I do have exams, so I might not live stream tomorrow or, or Thursday. Sorry about that, guys, but life goes on. Anyways, guys, I'll see you on my next, in my next video or live stream, 
Anyways, guys, peace out. I hope you guys all have a great and swell day.